nobody rents me for this god awful socket set Chris has got. That's what I'm gonna have to use, to literally. <laughs> I can't even. No, yeah, it definitely goes in like that. Demon just got out of can. I gave my bro an advance. Okay, good afternoon guys, how's it going today? So, we're going to be installing a rear strut bar, as you can see right down here today. This is a rear strut bar going on the back. Um, obviously, the parts we have to do, if I zoom in right now, is take out those bolts right there. Beneficial and better things to having strut bars, obviously you get better handling. Um, you don't get as much, um, like, sh sh how can you say it? I can never say this word, it's chassis. That's it, chassis. Right, chassis, there we go. There's no flex, so basically there's no, there's not as much flex in your chassis. Ch oh, fucking, this is ridiculous. Just a lot better for handling and stuff like that. You might not notice a huge amount just doing the rear. You probably will do if you had the front and rear, but today is just the rear we're gonna be sorting out. It's a basic, simple, easy modification. I highly recommend it if you're going for like a track building that as well. And another beneficial thing for it is, if you, um, once you've got it set up and you've got a GoPro or something, you can mount GoPros and onto it back there for like, uh, when you're like going on track days and you're, I want a GoPro and it's facing that way and you see everything that's going on. So it's going to be cool. I'm going to quickly run through what bolts you need, uh, what um, sockets and that you need, or you can use a, a spanner as well, like a flat drive spanner or something like that, whatever you want to use. I will go get the tools and quickly show you what you need. And then we'll crack on installing it. Now it comes in grey, I believe, because I didn't rip a bit of it open. A bit more open. It's in grey at the minute. So it's easy to take off and get it repainted if I wanted to. So I don't know what colour I'm going to go for it, but um, comment down below and let me, let me know what you think I should go. I should get like white or something like that because I'm still thinking about getting a car wrapped as well. So, yeah, let's crack on with this video and um, let's get this ping done. So, I'm gonna have to excuse how windy it is today. I apologize. Right, so open up the boot. First thing you obviously want to do is take out this like inner arch layer here. I've took this side off and um, they are on clips. I've put them somewhere. I don't even know where they are. I feel like I've put them there. No, I've lost them. Great, that's not a good start. They are on little poppers like this. You usually get a flathead on um, like the little insert bit down there and they pop straight out. Now there is a few more left, I believe, I think. Either that or there's not. I've took them all out. I'm not took them all out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take these rear seats as well out, but I won't be doing them today because obviously this part here that you're taking out and replacing where the strut goes is where the seats clip into um, right there on that clip. So that's gonna be no use anymore. So the only thing about having a rear strut bar is that you can't have any rear seats anymore, but let's be honest, it's not really a downside when you're trying to build a track car anyway. Right, and nobody rents me for this god awful socket set. Chris has got just one head laying around there, so we're going to be using that today. You've got to find out what bolts these are. They look like they could be like, um, the camera's not even focusing on it. There we go. I reckon they could be like 14s. They're definitely, yeah, they've 14s, 15s. We'll get, we'll get them up, we'll get socket and have a look. Right, so I was completely wrong. You need a 13 mil socket or spanner. The only thing I can find in this freaking toolbox is a 13 mil spanner because the, um, He's got the wrong size. He's got a final 30 mil socket, but it was just two, it's like a half inch, um, half inch ratchet, so can't really use it. I'm gonna be using this 13 mil, gonna undo these bolts this side, and then I'm gonna try to rip this, um, rip this side bit out as well. And then we can hopefully get it all in, it should be good. Okay, so you wanna get your 13 mil, start on doing these uh, two bolts right here. It's probably gonna take me so long not having a, oh, actually you know the threads. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So hopefully this one goes, cracks just as easy, which it does. Ideal. Once that's out, make sure you keep hold of this because if you do ever want to go back to standard and stuff like that, you're going to definitely need it as like an MOT regulation sort of thing. So let's get these out. You can use these same bolts as well once you get your rear strut brace. Um, you don't have to get new bolts or anything like that. You can use these because these come with like the washers and that on the end anyway. So that goes out like that, and then it literally the strut brace goes in, and then you just put the two bolts in again. So we're going to take the um, Take the bit out this side, take this out, and then once I've got that out, hopefully we can take the other bolts out. Now, I don't, I haven't took this clip out down here, so I don't know, because I don't think Chris has got a flathead either, so we might have a problem with this. <sighs> I'll tell you what, right, this toolbox is just getting worse and worse. Look what I've just found. That's what I'm gonna have to use, to literally. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm doing this right now. I've gotta use this to take that off. Oh, this is just gonna go so wrong. I can see it happening now. I'm not ever gonna even get enough leverage behind it. There's no chance. I just need to pop it out. That's what I need to do. 
I'm sorry this is so unprofessional guys, like I would usually have normal professional tools but it's the weekend, I'm not at work and um, I don't have my tools with me so it's a bit of a nightmare, I can't, I can't even use a pair of grips or anything like that because he hasn't got no grips or anything, oh, well, what can I use, I need to get this off, I want this done today, right, that's out, right, that is that bit's out, hopefully now because that's not even, ta yes, oh, no way, thank god, Right, I'll just need to take that one out and pop that out because there's a few of them all together. Just make sure they um, they go back in the hole like that. Little poppers. Um, figure out. God, this one has come in. I'll push that up this way. Ah, uh, yes, sweet. Out. Boom. Woo! Right, I might even actually get put them back in, but I've like cut out to where the strut base actually sits against this. So, um, if we, if we undo this one quickly. You don't know how, like, when you're just so used to using like really nice tools every day, you don't know how shit it is when you actually have to, like, real people, that, people that do that mechanics and stuff like that, you're like, you'll know, you know exactly what I mean when you come across, right, that's it, they're both loose, cool, thank God for that. We're going to have to use it again for those dudes logs back up, which is going to be absolutely horrendous. And I want to make sure it's like really tight as well, so, oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm... Right, there we go. Right, guys, so, move the camera. That bit's all done. Thank God the camera's like really wonky, I don't even care right now. But um, let's go get the strut brace on, go grab it quickly, clear all this stuff out, and then um, it should be sweet. So let's go get it. Right, here we go. Here is the rear strut brace. Now I'm gonna take this apart quickly. Super easy to install, like I said guys, for colour, I don't know what I should go for really. What do you reckon I should do? Like keep it. Nah, the standard colour is not very nice, it's just pure metal. Yeah, it's just we're gonna have to get this painted, but for now we'll put it on because considering how easy it is to take on and off, um, and I'm probably just gonna leave this like it is now, so it'll be really easy and accessible for me to get to. I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and then um, I might leave you guys to let me know in the comments down below what colour you think I should do it. Don't fancy getting surface rust on my clothes today. Would be very nice, especially on a white t-shirt. Uh, what have I done here? Right, I'm gonna grab a knife and get all this uh, undone and I'll be back, all right, I'll be back. Right, so let's see. I hope to God this lines up perfectly, so I'm guessing it goes in like that. That is my like, yeah, it's gotta be. You can't go in, no, yeah, it definitely goes in like that. So that is how it would, that's how it would pretty much sit. Let's get it in all nicely. So remember these are 13 mil. I think that's what it is standard anyway in all minis, I believe. Um, I don't know what they're like for the R53s. And I will leave a link to the guy's um, Facebook page on which I actually got this from because he custom makes these. Like people pay so much money, right? For these um, like strut bars and things like that, but like you're just paying for like, it is all just a bit of like metal, aluminium, whatever the fuck they use. I don't know. You can use probably carbon fiber ones and things like that. Um, but you're just paying for the name and that at the end of the day, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty pointless. So you might as well just get one at a good price, get it painted and things like that. Also, you're paying for the painting that as well. But if you know people for paint and things, then you're all good, really, aren't you? So right, let's get these in, get them done up. And then it all should be golden. Right, so I'm gonna do these bolts up quickly um, either side and once they're done up, because it's a bit of a boring process, you watch me doing bolts up, so once I've done them, I will flip the camera around, clear all this stuff out and show you what it looks like when it's all in and uh, set up. Whoa, it's all done. You're gonna have to excuse the wind, it's so windy, but that is the rear strut brace on. Absolutely solid. 10 times about that. it's definitely gonna obviously i would take the car out for a drive right now and uh show you guys like if there's any difference stuff like that. but i've currently got no front drop things actually i'll go in the car and explain all this and then uh yeah i'll probably end off the video as well <sighs> okay Whew, my hair's probably a mess um rear strut brace in the back all done woo um, I'll probably move these interior bits well i'll probably put them in but i'll try and get them cut out and stuff like that it might look a bit better 
But yeah, I currently can't take the car for a drive to see if it's better or not because I've got no front drop links on at the moment. And I've also got the spaces are all packed up um, and they're not sitting on hub correctly because I had to order new hub centric spaces and I've got new adjustable drop links. But that's all in different videos, guys. So what I'm gonna do is uh, wrap the video up for today. If you have enjoyed it, I'm out of breath for some reason. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel if you're new and stuff like that. Check out my social media, it's in the description down below. If you wanna get one of these um, strut bars, which I paid actually, I think it was about 40 or 50 quid for this. Um, I will leave a link in the description down below where you can get them from the guy who um, sells them. I think he makes them for the R53s. I'm not, actually, I'm not sure if they do fit in the R53s like that, but um, I know for 100% R56 ones, and he does paint them as well. Um, I think he charges like an extra 10, 20 pounds to have them painted, so it's up to you guys. Um, I've got mine unpainted because I didn't know what I was gonna do with it yet, plus I know a guy, oh, I know I know Andy down at Asbo anyway who paints, so that is it. Um, 10 times better, Look, it, it looks 10 times better, and hopefully it will change the car handling-wise as well, especially now I've got the hat, the coil overs and that on. And when everyone's all set up with the wheel alignment and things like that, this car's gonna be so, so sweet now. So um, sadly, I can't drive the car today, like I said, with all these problems, but all getting sorted out this week. So we've got a good lineup of videos coming out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video as always. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, like I said, and um, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.